to evening everyone. Thanks Pam Southern uh, Pam Salau Chapter and Nippon Pam for the invitation for me to give a sharing session here today. Before I started to share my uh, winning award in uh, AYDA 2015, I would like to uh, introduce about myself and what I have been doing the previously. So um, I ran for those who don't know me. I'm actually a part two graduate architect and also a part time uh, travel broker. Like every one of you here, I like to travel. I like to do uh, works and design things that I really have passion on it. Um, towards the past few years, I have been traveling around and then trying to apply jobs in other countries to experience different uh, working culture in different countries. This is a few countries where I have been working on. In 2014, I actually had the opportunity to have architecture internship and working experience in Taiwan. I spent my summer break in Taiwan and trying to explore what kind of architecture that language Taiwan is doing now. I have been traveling in Taipei, Taiwan, Taitung for around one month and the last le for two months, I actually spent the time working with Liu Architect trying to explore the uh, government design where Taiwan is actually doing now. I'm very honored to have this uh, precious opportunity to actually work on this uh, elementary school based in New Taipei City. For me and for many of us, a uh, classroom design is very important for future generation. For architect Liu, he actually educated me on how we looking forward to the design of a classroom itself. The issue of what we're having now is that the box light classroom or even the open plan and cooperative or even flexible classroom is actually getting out of the trend. So what a classroom can be in future? What is the future generation or the youth they need for their future? This is the thing that we're actually looking in in this proposal and this proposal eventually actually built last year completed. The design concept for this uh, school is actually called Out of Window where architect Liu trying to have the combination with green outdoor activity together with the indoor spaces. I'm very um, happy that I can actually help him to actually come up with this proposal where we first starting with the site planning of having this uh, site analysis to actually try to preserve the green, try to study the grid, the opportunity of this site where they have a lot of green, the forest, and things like that. From this site analysis, then we develop the floor plan. We have this spatial curve shaped building where eventually we come out with uh, this main master plan. In this master plan, we're trying to develop different um, green pocket park where the youth can actually spend their time out here. There's different green pocket park here where they can enjoy during different season or target for different group of uh, students from standard one all the way to standard six. This Taiwan uh, trip or even architectural experience very much influenced me in future even now because he actually taught me how to design for future generation. Further down, I keep my travel experience and travel uh, momentum moving forward. I don't want to stop myself just within Malaysia or even my small home. I wanted to go further. So I actually applied working holiday all the way to US to fulfill my architecture dream. I managed to actually visit Falling Water, uh, Grand Canyon, and places in um, US that I actually wanted to go so much to actually somehow worship all the architecture building that many of us actually looking into it. So this is a few building and places that I went to in my uh, US trip. So at the same time, I don't just want to travel. I want to learn the architecture experience in US. So I try to apply uh, architecture work when I actually having working travel in US. So I actually managed to have this uh, architecture um, working experience with uh, JG Architect in New York. It's a very uh, precious experience for me because it's very hard for um, foreigners to actually work in architecture field in New York. Even though it's just a four-month experience, but it's influenced me a lot, even until now. For architecture in New York, especially um, for a small firm, which is uh, the firm I'm working with, it's very hard for them to actually have places or for space or have a big proposal like what BIG is doing. Instead of having a big proposal, uh, this architect who I'm actually working with, 
he trying to look into the spaces which are left over or which actually neglected by the people around New York. So from here, I trying to learn on how a tight space can be more flexible. This is a few uh, office spaces that we actually are uh, trying to look into it. We are trying to study the multi-functional uh, spaces where a lunch room can be converted to different uh, uh, functional space. A uh, New York trip is actually um, very beneficial for me because it actually teach me on how to design for future environment. Whenever I travel to other countries, I actually feel uh, miss ho homesick and things like that. After the US trip, Taiwan trip or other small trip where I have been through, in 2016, I actually decided to come back to Malaysia and work as a part two architect in here. I always think for myself and also my home, as an architect or part two architect, what can I do for my home? I have the ability to design. What can I contribute to them? For many people out there, they don't even know where I came from. Whenever I travel, I, tell to, I try to tell them I come from Malaysia. Further down, they want to know where is my hometown. I tell them my hometown is a small fishing village, Pontian, but no one knows it. So this small thing actually inspired me to actually want to do something for my home. Because home is actually a place where it inspired me, bring memory, and nurture me and educate me until now. So my thesis project for UTM and also this project where I use it to take part in NYDA is actually an e-call learning market center where it's based in um, my hometown, Pontian Culture. E-call learning market center is actually a center where we actually provide e-call learning for people to actually come here and explore and learn. At the same time, it is actually a market center, a retail, where people can actually shop and work here. As I mentioned just now, this is the site where I came from, a small fishing village. We have river here. We have steel houses, fishermen, boat, um, and etc. This is a, a small thing for everyone here. But for me, it's actually very important because this is the social culture thing that made me uh, different from others. So in order for me to develop a brief, I start to come up with a design concept where I actually know it as evolving nature. Uh, why I call it as a evolving nature? First of all, because of the site itself. I'm trying to study on the site where what I want to do for this site. Trying to build a stronger community for the people there. Trying to contribute a space where people can come here, interact and shop together. My main Intention is actually to try to listen to the land where the site analysis come in and trying to blend into the site to have this architecture where I didn't actually do high rises or other building that demolish the site strategy. This is the um, bird eye view of my design concept where I come up with. I try to preserve the riverfront area where I still have the forest park. At the same time, I come up with green roof building with staggered uh, level trying to blend into the building at the same time it can actually see this architecture appear as a landmark for this center. The design actually come out with the heart of the structure where I do it in a radial form. First, the customer actually come in, go to the southern part of the building where it is essentially a retail part. The people come here can enjoy the fisherman deck where they can see sunset here. Then further down, they can go to the, the other side which is a retail part where I actually designed this structure as the hierarchy space of this building. This building is actually a replicate of the fishing uh, net from our hometown where we use this to actually catch a fish. So in order for me to have this hierarchy structure to become a landmark, I come with a few uh, functions for this building. Part of it will be the open gallery where people can come here and see the exhibition around this space. I actually allow void error at this point so they can actually see the exhibition at the same time they can see through the site itself. In terms of the circulation and the journey, the people or the visitors, they actually come in to the drop-off area here and then they will go through this hierarchy structure which is the market plaza here. Further down, they will go to this um, plaza which is three levels different. We have retail, shopping area, market area at this part. Most importantly, I'm trying to incorporate the passive design and the ecological design into this um, building. Trying to incorporate uh, the pond inside this building, biological structure of this building together with the endeavor development.
in terms of the details breakdown, when the people come here, they can actually go down to this place where they can actually explore the nature. This actually this area is actually the aquaculture place where they actually explore and open up to the nature. People or the youth can actually come here and mingle around. Whereas the adult, they can actually come this upper part area to have a shopping experience at this part. So the entire development is actually focused on multi-generation for all different um, group of people to actually come here and spend their time. So in 2015, and I won the AYDA um, award in Malaysia. In 2016, I actually uh, have the honor to represent Malaysia and eventually I have, I'm very fortunate to win as Platinum Award. AYDA is actually um, a very good platform and it actually influenced me a lot. In terms of uh, the benefit, uh, I don't need to mention much. One of the things I wanted to highlight here is not only the opportunity, but also friendship network and the inspiration that I gained from the workshop itself. The workshop and the competition is only just four or three days. But within these four days, I actually gained strong bonding within um, other competitors. We have friends and competitors come from different countries. During my time, there's around 13 and um, 14 people who come from different countries. But just within uh, three days and four days, we become friends. We learn from each other. Even though it's a very uh, short time and challenging for us, because we have the opportunity to actually present in front of everyone. We try to learn the culture from everyone, from Japan, from Indonesia, to see how powerful, how beautiful their design is. The presentation they done very much inspired me to actually bring me and push me forward. And this year, 2017, I'm currently based in uh, KL, working in WDA. I'm trying to uh, explore myself into uh, future development, which is currently doing more building like high rises. For me, I think it's very important for us to actually believe in ourselves. So that's all from my presentation. Thank you.